The Queen of Dust lies in the dust alongside her husband, but it is the Jack of Plagues that I should be concerned you have about. what it takes to defeat the rats. The rats are... deadly. I remember I've had quite a lot of trouble back then when I tried to pass it. The player loses 5 gold for every fail and 10 gold for every huge fail. Challenges, 3 times Ratman Hunting and 3 times Angry Mob. Both are rather dangerous. Ah, the rats. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and ride. Oh, I'll need to add something. Okay, Explorer's Helmet goes in there. So, what did I? I did the treasure chest, the priest, Mr. Lionel, and River. There's the Maiden again. Let's go with Charity, Asleep in the Forest, Battle at Brooktop, Heal the Poppies. Let's take the all the DLC things. And now... I think I unlocked Mr. Lionel. I haven't given him gold though. Hmm. Dead King's Hall is... Good. Ambush is fine, a winding trail too, and Dead Man's Gorge, okay. And I'm ready for the rats. Maybe I should have gone with a priest, but... Our Lord of Plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune. Of course he does. The decks are increasing in size. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. One day in the shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. Your thoughts turn to Mr. Lionel and his need for some elven hair. The maiden considers this for a moment before slicing a few strands from her hair. As you wish, but be cautious, mortal. You have the taint of a goblin about you, and they may never be trusted. Many enchanted weapons have powerful abilities that can turn the tide of battle, but only if their wielder remembers to use them. Farewell, mortal. Well done. Well, Mr. Lionel seems like he wants to help, so... Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. Twisted Canyon. Hold on. Okay, good. Huge hammer, 35. As you strength to get a consecutive attacks, you do a greatly increased damage. Press 1 to unleash a force explosion. Perfect. Plus 10 damage, an effect, and holy. Hmm. Oh, and I'll get to use it right away. Now you begin to trespass upon the Ratman's hunting grounds. Four of Plague. These rats have poison. And never mind when I say something is dangerous and it turns out to be easy peasy in the end. They will keep on increasing in numbers, difficulty, damage, strength, and equipment. So, plague so by what? Name and plague by nature. The rats leave behind a deadly toxin. Now we begin to raise the stakes. The arena itself will fight against you. Beware of my traps. Ouch. Ouch. 
27 health gone. Just like that. At least I have food to recover from this. But there are there will be a case where you will also be low on food. You sigh as you search the bodies, finding nothing. If only there were another way to stop this plague of rat and pay someone to take care of it, perhaps. There will be such a card. An expedition. Press on. Each of these cards is crafted from your memories and built from your experience. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. These places are rife with power. It is not chance that you should meet a warlock here. A light draws you to a nearby hilltop, where you see a warlock disappear in a cloud of sulfur, leaving behind the summoned minions. But these red dots mean that they are increased and uh, they're stronger. You ready yourself for combat. Oh, damn. That's a slow animation. Oh, that killed them both. <laughs> yes. I like that food. As you climb down the other side of the hill, you spy what looks like the remains of an ancient temple on another nearby hilltop. The White Council. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. As dusk settles, you arrive at a small village known as Lesser Dimsgate. The locals are gathered at a shabby looking inn. Something must be done, shouts a voice raised in anger. They took all our gold and food, one peasant wails. Will nobody stand up to them? They went that way, not an hour ago. You easily catch up with the band of ruffians. They seem overly confident and are in no rush. As you approach, the one who seems to be their leader notices you. Kill him, he commands, just drawing towards you. He looks like a troublemaker. The dealer draws you two monster cards. Six of dust. Oh ho ho, head bash. Well, head bash. It was a skull cracker move. The over, over, not overhead swing, but the 180 swing. That was a great move. You gather the stolen supplies and return them to the villagers, saying, Those bandits will trouble you no longer. Oh, they weren't bandits, a child explains. They worked for the White Council. It was our turn to give tribute. Wow. So that's why they were so confident, huh? Ah, they're so more quick to anger. That's what makes them a mob, really. They're more dangerous than the rats. As we approach the small town of Witchburn, an angry mob of peasants marches forth and confronts you. The ratmen have eaten all our food. We're starving. We demand food. I can't give them food. You, tour, you turn about and head away from the crowd. Get him! Somebody cries. Fuck. Yes! The starving peasants don't have the energy to catch you, and you flee. Down once more. 
seeking the heart of it all. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Well, maybe towards you, but those watching will know that I'm playing it for the fun of it. Asleep in the forest. Spirits roaming the darkness. With the struggles, the boundaries are weaker than they've ever been. While sleeping in the forest, you are jolted awake by a voice calling your name. You see a vaguely human-shaped ghost rushing towards you. You are quick to your feet, weapon already in hand, but the ghost stops abruptly, hand signaling that it means no harm. Its voice is weak and distant. You forget me already? Has this place already corrupted you so? I should not be here. I fear his servants already know where I am. For a brief moment, the ghost's pale eyes feel achingly similar. Please, come home soon. You blink and the ghost is gone. At your feet is a bag of food. Your prize. Once again, this is a game of the type where there is more going on than first meets the eye. And that is something I find amazing. When a developer tries to do that and not only achieves it, but achieves it to great effect. And it doesn't even stand out as something unusual, it just fits into the game. Again, the surprise attack. The novelty must wear thin on subsequent travels. A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Ooh, skeletons banding together with bandits. Uh-oh. Oh, it damages only the, those that are close, huh? Right into the chest. My character's gotta be strong to be able to swing a hammer like that with one hand. Maybe to balance it out, don't have a shield? Hmm. While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize... Alright, alright. Hmm. Upon reflecting a projectile... Defense, but a valuable one nonetheless. This helm creates a small force explosion. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Yes. I shouldn't be wasting supplies considering I'm against it's rats, to put but you off crossing at bridges like this. Surely there's an alternative that would leave you less exposed and vulnerable. Maybe. <laughs> Death. Well, no one's. Nobody said skeletons would be tanky. It's just the shield they carry that makes them so. Tonic, maximum health, and medium armor. Good. Middle of the road in every way. This was a tinker, right? I don't think they sell any, any food. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. Of Hush. course. Can you hear the way his claws scratch the tiles? No. Local peasant. Hungry mouths. War leaves nothing else. While crossing a forest clearing, you meet a peasant woman. Greetings, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year. In the forest behind her, you sense movement. In exchange for some food, I will tell you everything I know about these lands. Fine. The woman takes your food eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest, hands outstretched. You have given us enough food to survive the winter, stranger. She retrieves a sack from behind the bush. 
This was my husband's before he died. Please accept it as a thanks. Increase the wearer's movement speed. While the children eat, the woman speaks at length of what she has seen and heard recently. Perfect! There's the Jack of Plague, so I know what to avoid. I think that was worth the five food. I think I will get some at some point. Crypt rubbing. I'm not sure the dead fighting back makes this any more dignified. Oh, a huge success. Could I perhaps hit it this time? Yes! Suddenly, you leap into the fray, taking one of them down before they can even react. A oh, one of the groups. Only against two of dust. So yes, chance is a huge part of playing the game, but you can control it. Yes, all the special equipment, food. So the Jack of, okay, he's in, hmm. Devil's Wager. Trust the devil or don't? I wouldn't. A devil appears in a puff of smoke and fixes its evil gaze upon you. Greetings, mortal. If you can defeat my minions without taking a scratch, I will reward you with, I will reward you with gold and magical trinkets. Excellent! It points at you with crooked fingers saying, let's see how you prove it. You said you could do it without a scratch, but I'll be generous and leave you a little more than that. Eight health. Fuck. This gets rather dangerous when you start to face rats on a regular with poison. But you can just outright die. And that's not even hyperbole. Okay, that didn't hit a single one of them. Hmm, we are not dead. That is unexpected. The devil waves his hand, partially healing you. It then disappears, leaving behind some loot. Plus five max health. Plus five max health. Max health. Food. And more food. But these situations, these encounters are the ones that can be an instant adventure ender if you encounter them against enemies like the rats. The Song of the White Minotaur. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. The Mug and Barrel Inn is renowned for attracting the most talented bards from all around. You arrive there, weary from your adventures, but the night's entertainment convinces you to settle by the heart for a while. Hours pass and the crowd starts to thin. The bard begins to move around the room, playing requests for small groups. He serenades a pair of young lovers for a meager sum and is then generously tipped for leading a group of blacksmiths in a vacuous chorus of foul language aimed at the folks from the next town over. Leading a group of blacksmiths in a Oh, right. He approaches you. Well, well, well. We do have here a most distinguished adventure. No tawdry tale of insipid chivalry or brash tribalism will do. You, sir, merit a stirring ballad of bloodshed, heroism, and death. The bard sings for you the fable of the White Minotaur, a legendary beast who is master of both might and magic. Its power is such that it has felt every adventure Take bounty your time hunter, if you like. I've waited long enough. or treasure seeker it has ever crossed. I will take my time. Thank you very much. At the close of his song, the bard leans in close to you and whispers, The white minotaur is no myth. I met a man two nights ago who hunts the beast as if he were its long shadow. I'd wager that any adventurer would be interested in the tales he told me over supper. All yours for a small donation. 
huge failure when it comes to donations? Oh, come on. A choice. Select your desire. I'll take all the gold in your pockets. The bard bestows upon you all of the knowledge that he has gleaned about the white minotaur. Here is your token. Well done. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. You are minding your own business in a local tavern when suddenly three masked men burst through the door, grab a young man from the bar and manhandle him outside. One patron bursts out in protest but is quickly silenced by the solemn stares of all those around him. Leave them be, Garrett. If it is his time, then it must be done. You follow the masked men outside. Immediately you are confronted by a large crowd, all wearing masks. Their leader speaks to you. Whoa there, stranger. I really would prefer that no outsider witness what we're about what we're about here. I know this may this may look like a godforsaken thing we do, but you have you have no idea of our troubles, so I'll ask you not to involve yourself. I will not ask twice. We have no time for objections. The crowd turns and drags away the young man, their torches burning a mournful light into the distance. Once the light has faded from sight, you follow their path into the forest. You catch up with them and, to your surprise, they are gathered around a yawning portal that whirls with malicious portent. Despite their disguises, it is obvious that none of the hooded figures relish the sight before them and many are obviously distraught. The captive is carried to the portal atop the shoulders of six people as though they were his coffin theirs and he already dead. The young man's struggles are subdued by bonds of rope. Will you interrupt the ceremony? You burst, for, you burst forth from your hiding place and plead with the assembled crowd not to go through with whatever bizarre ritual they are engaged in, but you gain no support. Their leader eventually speaks above the crowd. If the man is so adamant that one of our own should not be sent to the underworld, then perhaps he should go himself. You are immediately seized by the crowd and pushed towards the portal. Try as you might, they are too strong for you and you cannot escape. You stumble and fall into the portal. You fall to the ground with only a gentle jolt. You find yourself in a forest that bears a most striking resemblance to where you just were. But with two very significant differences. The crowd of mask onlookers are gone, and the sky burns bright with red flames. Or the sky burns with bright red flames, whatever. Out of the sulfur and flames emerge foul hell beasts. Four of hell? What? Ah, shit. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is burning with red flames. Thankfully, I came prepared. Time to fight. Oh, they're small. And very tanky, may I add. Oh, can't be blocked. Oh. Go where you belong, into the dust. After you destroy the last Hellbeast, the portal stirs back into life. You are lifted off your feet and sucked into the vortex before being deposited back in the leafy forest you were ejected from earlier. And what about the crowd? Hmm, who knows. Ah, I should have known. Once the ratmen begin to creep towards the edge of the town, anger follows shortly behind. Oh, good. 
That's rats. Three, four, five, six, seven. I have no gold. <laughs> Same applies again. So, welcome to the Jack of Plague. He awaits plague and pestilence and blood and teeth. Faster and stronger than normal ratmen, this beast inspires all vermin around him to strike faster, the more damage he sustains. Here is a beast who hates your kind and has grown fat and evil with that hatred. The Jack of Plague will kill you and suck the marrow from your bones. There's a token in it for you, if you win. Time to get equipped. Oh, I didn't I block that? Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay. Screw you, jabroni. Whoops. Oh yeah, and when an enemy is making a series of unblockable attacks, the red ones, he can damage friendlies. Take it, boy! Yeah! Hell yes! Got him! The queens and kings of the rat kind have lost a child here today. For slaughter, your reward. For getting the Maiden's Hair you receive, Goblin King's Hall 2. For exploring Brooktop Hill you receive gold and the altar. For helping the people of Lesser Dim's Gate you receive the White Council 2. For showing the ghosts you are merciful or the ghost you will receive a sleep at the inn. For feeding the local peasant woman, you receive Inspect and Put Back, Map Draw Free, and the Great Helm of Reinforcement. For winning the Devil's Wager, you receive Fate's Folly. For hearing the song of the White Minotaur, you receive Hunting the Huntsman. For venturing into the underworld, you receive Alicia in Underworld. As a reward for defeating my Ratman Jack, you receive these new cards. Berserker Armor, Ember Town Hero, Devil's Carnival, King of Dust, Scorching Zeal, Culling the Ratman. For defeating, I will give you a new challenge. Ratman Hunting, times free. Come, play. I do not want to just sit here. Look at the cards you have earned. Now we have enough to begin a real game. Do we? I sure hope so.